Hello everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a while since we have done a grocery haul. Um, things have been kind of crazy around here, but anyways, we're back. So I went to two stores today. I went to Aldi first, and then I went to Ralph's after that just to get um, groceries for the week. And I thought I was gonna find more at Aldi than what I actually got, um, but that's okay. So anyways, I spent um, probably about $150 this week on groceries, but I did try to get stuff for, um, like my husband's lunch. That way he is not buying lunch and the kids are off school for three weeks. Um, I know it's a lot. So our groceries are a little bit more this week with more snacky stuff. Um, and I know a lot of it's not like the healthiest, but we are trying to get little man to put on some um, more weight. He's playing basketball and so he's been eating a lot more and so um, we just bought some more unhealthy, well not unhealthy but not the healthiest stuff. So anyways I'm going to jump in and show you guys what we got. I'm going to start over here at Aldi. I just got some bell pepper, um, this OxyClean. So I normally buy it at the grocery store because I try not to go to Walmart as much anymore because it's kind of far. Um, and it was like six bucks at Aldi and I love it. I love it. I've been using it with my laundry and our like stains, especially on Chris's clothes have been coming out and it's amazing. Um, so I had to grab one of those, just some green grapes, two green onions. You can see Brody and Franny. Hi Franny. Brody. Hi baby. <laughs> um, they're in, it is raining outside. It's been raining here for probably almost a week, like mostly every day. But um, anyway, so they're cooped up inside and they wanna go from outside. But anyways, I got some, a dozen eggs. I got some zucchini, some celery, some cinnamon raisin bread that looked really good. Um, and then these were totally at the checkout and an impulse, but they looked really good. These. Caramel Stroop waffles, I guess. They have like a caramel, I don't know, inside. But they're like a waffle cookie. They're, I think we've had them before. Maybe not this brand, but they were really good. So uh, we grabbed those. Some cookie dough. And then, you know, Axel always asks for something extra. So this time it was one of these melting snowmen that you put in some hot milk. And it's like hot chocolate. He got his um, Pocky. And then... I got some, just some white bread, and that is all from Aldi. That was like $25, I think. So I'm gonna jump over here to Ralph's. I got some Cheetos for Chris's lunch. Uh, I don't know how low we were on Hershey's syrup, and I haven't been to Sam's, so I just grabbed another one just in case. Some extra virgin olive oil because I cook 90% with that when I need an oil um because it's better than the vegetable oil um some Tostito scoops because we love those some pretzels just some cinnamon rolls to make I had made some little homemade Cinnabites um the other day and they were super good but I just decided these looked really good and I'm not sure how much time I'm gonna have to make homemade cinnamon rolls. I just grabbed those. Um, some Chobani flip. So the kids have really, really been loving these. Um, and it was on sale. There's four in here and it was like $3. So that's a great deal. Plus I have an Ibotta for like two twenty five dollars back or something like that. So they're going to be super cheap to get that. And plus, um, I got some individuals. I have an Ibotta for that as well. So Axel picked out cookie dough cookies and cream and coffee brownie bliss so they're greek yogurt and then you just if you haven't had them before the smaller section right here whoops the smaller section you just flip it like the name it just um sorry just flip it into your yogurt and then mix it yogurts in the bigger ones so really good and it was a good deal with all of those some chicken breast. This was normally $19. I got it for almost $13. Um, individual, giant. I mean, these are huge chicken breasts. So 
I grabbed those because I need to start eating a lot better. Um, because I just realized how out of shape I am and I definitely need to get back in shape as a New Year's resolution this year. Some regular just Yoplait strawberry yogurt. This is Chris's favorite. He doesn't eat the um, the Greek yogurt and he only likes just plain strawberry yogurt. So I grabbed those. These two little two ounce cracker barrel, just little cheese cubes, I guess. Yeah, cheese cubes. I grabbed one um, Cheddar Jack and one Extra Sharp Yellow. Um, Axel will snack on those. Plus I had an Ibotta for 50 cents back for each one. So, and they were like $2 each, so that's a good deal. String cheese, because I love to snack on this. Some Colby Jack cheese, because I'm going to, for Axel for lunch or for Chris, cut up um, like a homemade Lunchable, and we have some lunch meat stuff I'll show you in a second. But cut up some cheese, some crackers and stuff, that way it's just quick and easy for them to snack on and easier for Chris during lunch. Um, some ground beef, two pounds, because I needed some. Two boxes of Ritz crackers, that's what I'm gonna use for the little homemade Lunchables. Just a gallon of milk this time because we still have two in the fridge. Um, this week we went through, with the girls being here, we went through six gallons this week. It was crazy, like they had hot chocolate every night and then they had milk when you know we made bacon and eggs and stuff for breakfast, they had a big glass of milk. So um, we went through a lot this week, but we still have two so I just grabbed one. Got some black forest ham. That's one of our favorite lunch meats. Some Italian dry salami. This is really good. If you haven't tried this brand, it's super, super good. Just some Driscoll strawberries. I got two of the one pound containers. Cut those up for lunch. And then two of the super sweet corn. We love this. These I have been eating and loving. These little Quest bars. They are... Hello, handsome. <laughs> um chocolate chip, cookie dough, I really like these and I'll eat one um, like when I take Axel to basketball practice early Saturday morning. Um, I will just grab one of those and eat it at practice. Some cheese salsa, just a little medium cheese dip that Chris likes to eat with some Tostitos. Some squeezable peanut butter because I'm also gonna send this in Chris's lunch box that way he can quick make a sandwich, you know, PB&J or whatever. These we haven't had in so, so long, but they're so good. So they were at the checkout, so I went ahead and grabbed one. Some ding-dongs just because everybody loves ding-dongs. No, bubby. Um, some circus cookies because I love these, and it's going to be like my little guilty pleasure to eat. And then two boxes of CT Crunch because we were low on cereal. So that is the groceries for the week. Um... Like I said, it was like $150, but it'll be good because it'll last us for lunches and um, dinners. And here it's in Southern California, it's about $15, almost fifth, between $10 and $15. Even if you go to just McDonald's for one person, you just get one meal. They're like $12 a meal. It's crazy. So it's so expensive to eat out, um, especially for Chris at lunch. So I just make sure that he has a lunch here that he can eat. Um, I kind of slacked this last couple of weeks just because of the holidays and stuff, but I'm going to get back on that to make sure that he does have his lunch. Um, and like I said, Axel will be off for three weeks, so he's going to be home snacking a lot. So I wanted to make sure I had enough. So, um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for coming back and make sure you guys like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye.